Hey everybody, I'm Ben Dore, Executive Director for Minnesota Right to Life. And if you love babies, if you love the right to life, if you think that the unborn deserve the chance to live, um, you're going to want to hear this update from House District 33B. You have a Republican primary coming up on August 9th. There are two candidates running in this GOP primary. We have information on their political leanings and where they stand on the issue of life. So tune on in here, guys. Share this with your family and friends and everybody in uh, House District 33B. Uh, to be clear, all of the districts have been redrawn. So 33B is kind of the Stillwater area and then north to about Bone Lake. Okay, so it's that's kind of the area we're talking about. If you live in that area, if you know what I'm talking about, or if you know people who do, share this video with them. Um, I'm going to kick this right off. I'll be very quick here for you. Mark Bashovsky is running uh, for the Minnesota House, and so is Tina Riley. Those are your two candidates running in the Minnesota GOP uh, primary election on August 9th. And I'll just say right out, Mark Bashovsky has filled out his Minnesota Right to Life candidate questionnaire 100% signing on the dotted line that he will fight on behalf of the unborn if he makes it to St. Paul. Um, unfortunately, Tina Riley refused to fill out the Minnesota Right to Life candidate survey. And we're going to get into that a little bit more here now. Um, but I want to give you just a couple of the questions that we asked in the candidate survey so you have kind of a general feel of these questions. Um, it, you know, they weren't, do you support life, right? Uh, anybody can say yes. Uh, the first question we asked Mark Bashovsky was, will you support life at conception legislation if you make it to the Minnesota House? And life at conception simply says that life begins at conception and therefore that child, that unborn life is deserving of protection under Minnesota law. Um, and he said that not only would he support life at conception, not only would he co-sponsor life at conception, but that he would be a chief sponsor of life at conception um, if he makes it to the Minnesota House. So uh, it's a big promise. We're very grateful uh, that he that he answered that question that way. Um, so yes, he will be a yes vote on life at conception legislation. Um, the next question we asked was, do you support defunding Planned Parenthood? And he said, yes, absolutely. He will vote always uh, to defund Planned Parenthood. And they call it Planned Parenthood. It's not. Uh, they're the biggest baby killers in the entire industry nationwide. And thank God, thank God Roe versus Wade has fallen. Um, babies will live because of this. but. Now we're going to have, and Governor Tim Walls has made this promise that if you want to kill your baby, you come to Minnesota and they'll make sure that that happens. Uh, and so we're going to see this now from states like Iowa, Wisconsin, some Dakotas. We're going to see people coming to Minnesota to get free taxpayer funded abortions. That our legislature is passing those that funding and we're going to see Numbers like we've never seen before. And so it's absolutely imperative that we fight hard to defund Planned Parenthood, these baby butchers, and shut them down. And so Mark Bashovsky said, absolutely, I will champion that issue to defund Planned Parenthood. Um, we asked a couple of uh, technical questions. Would you use procedural votes to move pro-gun, uh, pro-life bills? Um and he said, absolutely, absolutely, we will do this. Um, and he said, uh, and we asked him, will you vote against all abortions when given the opportunity? And he said, absolutely, I will do that as well. Um, so a big thank you to uh, Mark Bashovsky. We appreciate that survey um, very much. Uh, it, and it's, it's so important now, and I want to say this again, I want to be very clear, in Minnesota, uh, over 10,000 babies a year are put to death. 29 babies a day on average die in Minnesota. 
and our tax dollars are paying for it. And if you ask a bunch of politicians, what do you think of Minnesota right to life? Many of them on both sides of the aisle will say, we don't like Minnesota right to life. They're scammers, they're con artists, all of these things. They say these things because we as an organization are the only organization in Minnesota pointing out the fact that both parties, both parties are voting to fund abortion, taxpayer funded abortions in Minnesota with your money, with my money. And so it is important um, that we have people's beliefs in writing for everybody to know about. And that brings us to Tina Riley, who has not filled out her Minnesota right to life candidate survey. She will not tell the voters where she stands on life at conception. She will not uh, support defunding planned parenthood. Um, and she, she won't pledge to vote against uh, abortions and abortion funding. She just won't do it. She just won't do it. Um, and I don't know if, if, if she's pro-abortion, if she intends to work with the pro-abort crowd, if she, if she made it to St. Paul, I don't know if, uh, party leadership who have been voting to fund abortion for decades, are they telling her not to fill out the candidate survey? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but say what you want about Minnesota right to life. We are a Christian organization. It is our duty before God. And it's their duty as candidates, as legislators to stand up for those who have no voice at all. And Tina Riley should apologize for refusing to fill out her Minnesota right to life survey. She should put on writing what she believes. Mark Bashovsky did, and he's promised to be 100% pro-life and to champion these pro-life, life-saving issues. And you know what? If he doesn't, Minnesota right to life is going to be right there to hold him accountable for it. This isn't about politics. It's about truth. It's about justice. It's about our duty as Christians, as Americans, as human beings to protect the most vulnerable, those who don't have any voice at all. It's our duty to do this. And Tina Riley should put her name on paper and promise to do that, or at least Tell the truth and say, well, I'm a pro-abort. If she believes that, she should do that too. So if you see Mark Bashovsky, thank him for filling out his Minnesota Right to Life candidate survey 100% in defense of the babies. Um, it's a big thing to do, especially when both parties are funding abortions. And if you see Tina Riley, uh, tell her to apologize for refusing to put her positions on paper for refusing to come clean to the voters in House District 33B. Um, share this video with your family and friends, everybody you know who's pro-life. We need to turn this around in Minnesota. Again, over 10,000 babies a year get killed in this state. And after Roe versus Wade has fallen, I'm afraid we're going to see 12,000, 15,000, 20,000 babies killed here. It's absolutely appalling. It must end. Life at conception will end this. Defunding Planned Parenthood will end this. It'll, it'll drastically reduce what's happening here. So we need fighters in St. Paul. Um, again, thank you. A big thank you to Mark Bashovsky for filling out his survey, 100% pro-life. Uh, we hope Tina will uh, face up to her positions. Share this video with your family and friends. God bless you guys. When you go out to vote on August 9th, and it's so important that we do, uh, vote pro-life, vote to protect the babies. That's our duty. That's our job. God bless you guys. Take care.